Hey guys, Jason here. Hope you're doing well. And this is part two to my tutorial on how I edit audio in Audacity. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't typically like this type of video for the simple reason that I'm not really a big fan of how-to software videos. Like, I understand some people need basic step-by-step -step stuff, it's just that I'd rather inspire, or you know, try to inspire people through techniques and the learning process to get out there and make stuff. But back to the point though, a lot of y'all had problems with getting plugins installed in Audacity, and all my song tutorials, audio editing tutorials, etc., they're all kind of useless if you can't even use the plugins I talk about. So at first, when there are just a few comments about it, I tried to reply and help out, but eventually I realized I just needed to make a video to show and walk you guys through the installation processes. So all these free third-party plugins I use in my videos, today I'm going to show you how to install them. So good old Yua Shock, an actually useful but still kind of sketchy vocal exciter that you see me use pretty heavily on the channel. I downloaded it from the site right here, which is also linked down below, and actually found out about this plugin originally on Reddit where people said it was an early version of Soundgoodizer released as a joke in a beta build at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and run the installer, and as I was saying, maybe the nature of this plugin explains why the description of the site and even the name is so weird. Either way though, it's worked fine for me and that's why I recommend it. You just gotta click through the installer until you get to the install location, and here you need to make sure you install the plugin to Audacity's plugin folder, which is in program files, under Audacity, then plugins. Now the installer has run, the plugin's installed, and all you gotta do is enable it, which I'll jump back to at the end of the video. TDR Nova is an EQ plugin I use for mostly music mixing with vocals. I actually don't use it when editing speech or miscellaneous audio, but I want this video to be kinda one-stop tutorial that covers all the plugins I mentioned, so for this guy, you just gotta download the installer from the site link below, unzip it, and run it like so. The installer will first ask where you want to install it, but it's actually not talking about the plugin itself, just the, the hub if you want to call it that, so you can leave that as its default selection. At the next step, you'll need to install the 32-bit DLL version of the plugin, since that's the only one Audacity can handle, and now you need to set the location to install that to the Audacity plugins folder, just like US Shock. Now you can click through, and TDR Nova will be installed like so. And again, I'll show you how to enable plugins from inside Audacity at the end of the video. Alright, Spitfish is next, which you can download from digitalfishphones.com. And it actually comes as one of a bundle of a few free plugins, so you do have to download the whole fish fillets package to get Spitfish. There's no installer for fish fillets though, so all you have to do is unzip the download and move the Spitfish DLL file to the same Audacity plugins folder where we put everything else. And that's it for Spitfish, but yet again, you do gotta enable it, and I'll show you all that in a minute. Last but not least, we got Tau Reverb 2, and for this we need to hop over to the site link below and select to download version 2.1.1 since Audacity only supports 32-bit and that's the newest 32-bit Tau Reverb. Once you download and unzip the archive, you want to ignore everything except the Tau Reverb DLL that is the 32-bit version. Just like with Spitfish, moving that DLL to the Audacity plugins folder is the last thing you need to do before enabling the plugin. And like I promised throughout the video, let me real quick show you how to do that. So once we've opened up Audacity, click Add Remove Plugins from the Effect tab and literally just find the new plugins you want to enable. For me, that's going to be UI Shock, TDR Nova, Spitfish, and Tau Reverb. Enable them, then click OK. And we finally made it to the end of this honestly pretty tedious process. But now you can use these plugins to mess with audio because they'll now all show up in the effects tab. Anyway, that's it for this video. This is going to be the video I refer people to when they have trouble from now on. And seriously though, I hope this was useful and helped y'all out. And I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.